Welcome back everyone to another painting session. This will be the last video of our planet painting series, if you call it that. Now I do have futures, I do have plans for the future in which I will expand on this idea of making planet themed paintings. But that's going to um, be after a small little break after this painting, which of course is Pluto. It's not a planet, dwarf planet, um, but I'm still going to include it. I'll show you the sketch. They don't really have a lot of notes well, at all, really. But if you look closely, Pluto, of course, right there. There's going to be a few cliffs with not very steep edges and a cliff edge right here. <clears throat> Life source will be over here, stretching out. The landscape will be of Charon, Pluto's moon, one and only moon, um, which is a bit of a strange thing where it, or uh, well, both of them, kind of not really orbit each other, but they face each other always, always face each other. Um, so let's say you're on Charon, you will always see this side of Pluto all year round. Same for Pluto, vice versa. So it's a, I think, tidally orbiting or tidally locked, I believe the, um, the term is called, but I don't really um, remember the, <clears throat> the correct definition of it. But the color of the landscape, even because it's not shown, it will be very dark. Dark over here, the deepest Black will be on the bottom with lighter stuff up here, but they will still be pretty dark. Not a lot of lighter stuff. Pluto, of course, will be very bright along with star right here, or sun right here, comets, stars, what have you. I plan to have a gradient sky of light gray to dark gray, maybe even some black. I don't plan to have um, like real black here because it's going to muddle with this over here, the bottom canyon. So I, I'm going to move this because it's been messing with the camera. It keeps shaking. Anyway, the color here, I don't want it to be the same as the sky. So I'm going to lighten up the sky because I still want the bottom to be black. Um, very dark, dark colors. Um, yeah. In terms of any special additions, Pluto is really the only one, which will have red, blue, and uh, tan over here, so not really that crazy. Um, yeah, other than that, other than that insane. And with that out of the way, I'll get the time lapse going. Enjoy the video.
I am still quite proud of this one in particular. I think it's a good tie off to the end of this series. And for some of these things, some of the aspects of this painting, I believe I did exceptionally well, like Pluto, for instance. There, there's a bit more red than I would have liked, but it's fine. And perhaps I could have spent a bit more time to detail up the, <clears throat> the edges of these cliffs. But overall, I think I did fine. I'll let y'all look at the sketch. Take a good look, because I'm going to remove it soon. There, I'll do it one more time to line it up a bit. Yeah, I think I did good. Fulfilled the sketch, pretty faithful to it. Especially Pluto. I always do well with that. Um, this is a little blemish. There's a, quite a bit of gloss on this one, so it shines quite a bit, very reflective. So try not to drop my phone right now. If I did, I'd be very, very sad. But yeah, this is the end of this series and the end of this video. Well, almost the end. Like I said in the beginning, I do have plans for the future. For next painting will just be, it won't be aligned with any planets. It'll just be a random painting I had in the works. Oh, I don't know in particular, but I'll figure it out. I do have a few other series ideas. Like, um, I do have sketches for these, so they're all ready to get painted. Um, a series of plants inspired, um, inspired worlds, ones about elements, gems, minerals, and a terraformed planets. So a terraformed Mars, Venus, all of them, all the plants you could ever imagine. I ha well, in our solar system, anyway, I have those terraformed and all of them sketched. So all ready to go. I might have a poll soon just to see which series should go up next. I probably have a week for y'all to decide. But that will, whatever series that may be, it will be after a small little break in um, not videos, but in series. I'll make just mis miscellaneous paintings, just random ones that don't really belong to any set category that I've already established. But with that out of the way, with um, I told you the future and that I do have planned for um, the future of this channel, it's looking bright, it's looking good. I thank you for all of you who have watched through the series. Maybe you've watched the entire thing, maybe just bits and pieces, but whatever the case, if you haven't, uh, I would strongly encourage you to watch the other videos as they have much better uh, worlds than random old Charon here. So, and I do encourage you to watch those. Um, but nevertheless, you're here now, and I do thank you for watching, and I hope that I have brought a little bit of an entertainment to your day or night, and I hope to continue doing so, for you to subscribe, like, comment, all of those three things greatly motivate me, and uh, I appreciate all of them. Um, yeah. With all of that out of the way, I will say goodbyes. At the moment, it's night, so that's how I'm going to turn it off. So I hope that all of you have enjoyed today's painting session and continue to have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>